Hi everyone! In this video, we will make these lovely beers. It was so easy to make and you will see it in the video. It's a simple amigurumi and um, in the video I use a different uh, yarn. It was a lime brand uh, thick and quick yarn because uh, I want to show you clearly because uh, it's so hard to see the velvet yarns. But um, I recommend you to use softer yarns and I made some recommendation in the video too. Uh, so I keep going with uh, this yarn. I made this one before. Uh, and for this one you will need a velvet yarn. Uh, uh, you can use any kind of velvet yarn you choose. I use this one for this. I think it was basked yarn and this is a gala mixed fiber. Um, you can choose to use a good quality uh, yarn. This is not good. I think not so good but it, this one was so fine so it was so easy to use this one so uh, you can choose any uh, size yarn but sizes uh, will change the measurements you can see easily this one bigger than this and for this one i made a scarf but in this video i will show you uh, an infinity scarf uh, it looks good like that, I think. And uh, the cream yarn is Lion Brand Woolies. I use it for the nose and scars. Uh, if you want, you can use cotton, of course. But it's a beer and um, I made it with... Uh, a kind of uh, winter yarn so I used a wool here it's acrylic and wool it's size 4 yarn medium size yarn uh, and uh, you will need eyes my eyes I think uh, 12 millimeter you can use a little bigger eyes too if you use a bigger uh, yarn for this one uh, I didn't use amigurumi eyes I made this one myself you can choose to make it too but uh, you must work uh, more for this so these eyes are cheap and easy to use and uh, safe I choose to use them this time and you will need 4 millimeter hook for the main lay uh, and I choose to use a smaller hook for amigurumis everyone choose to use them uh, because you cannot see the polyphile inside by the way you will need some polyphile too okay um, and for the scar I use nine millimeter hook I hope you can see it and for the nose I use three millimeter hook but I told it in the video too, you can make it with 4mm or if you have a smaller hook, you can make it with it too. And for the scars, you can use any uh, bigger hook you have. It's not so important. And you will need a, a needle, yarn needle. Uh, a longer one will be perfect. 
and scissors and some pins okay that's all that's i said that's all but <laughs> you need a little more ingredients this time but it will turn out a perfect uh, toy for your child or yourself you can use it as a gift easily i really like to use them because they are healthy uh, healthier than the uh, ones uh, you bought for your uh, child i have one last thing to say if you like this video please don't forget the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and if you share this video, I will be more than happy because uh, I want to make amigurumis. If uh, I see um, there, you like to watch it and uh, anyone likes them, I will just uh, keep going. I like to keep going. So uh, please share it with your friends too. Okay, we can start now. I will start with magic ring but if you are a totally beginner uh, you can make this and you can use this way or if you want to use a velvet yarn I highly recommend to use this uh, version just make a slip knot then chain two insert into this first chain and make your single crochets here one two three just keep making your single crochets here four five six and insert into the first one keep making like that okay you can use this first chain as a um, uh, magic ring i couldn't find i will start with a magic ring i will make a small one just hold this one with your finger and wrap the yarn around your fingers hold this one too insert here grab this yarn make a twist grab the same yarn make a chain and into this ring make six single crochet insert here grab the yarn yarn over and pull through two two three four five six close the ring insert into the first stitch and i will not make a slip stitch i will not join with a slip stitch I will just directly start to make my single crochets from here. That's my first single crochet. Put a stitch marker here and with this way you will know uh, where to start to the next row. And into this same stitch insert I will hide this tail in the same time like that I will make my single crochet around this tail too make one more single crochet I'm putting two single crochet into one stitch one two one two and two again and 
one, two. And in the end of this row, I have 12 uh, single crochets. Insert into the first stitch and make a single. And I will put one more stitch marker here. I will put a yarn with different color. And starting from here, I will turn around, make single crochets for rows. I will make it for eight rows. That's the right side, by the way. Okay, this was my first row. Insert here. Put the stitch marker here. Don't uh, take this stitch marker out. Uh, we will uh, count our rows uh, starting from here. It will make our work easy, easier. And turn around like that. I will make uh, eight rows. Then I'll see you. I complete my eight rows. That was my first row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, I will make an, a decrease. You can make decrease uh, with two uh, version. That's the first one. Insert here, grab the yarn, pull through. Insert into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all of them. Okay. And that's the second version. Insert into the first loop and insert into the second one's front loop, both front loop, okay, take the front loop, take the next stitch front loop, then grab the yarn, pull through and make a single crochet. You can use any of them. I prefer to use this one but um, for uh, the velvet yarn, it doesn't look bad uh, if you use uh, the other one too. Actually, you can use it for this one too. Uh, this yarn uh, will not show it bad. Okay. Put a stitch marker. Make one, two, sorry, three, four single crochets, and one more decrease. Insert front loop, insert ne next loop's front loop. Make a decrease and make four single crochets. We have ten single crochets right now, and just make ten single crochets for one row. One sorry. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. And insert into the next loop, make a slip stitch. Chain one, cut this yarn. You don't have to uh, leave a long tail here. And put a, a little a polyfill in it. Not much. Just um, you can feel half of this. Okay. Okay, that's enough. And make one more. For the uh, legs, I will start with the magic ring again. And uh, make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Insert into the first stitch, make a single crochet, put the stitch marker, and into the same stitch make one more put two single crochets for every stitch you have one two one two one Two, for the next row into the first stitch by the way we have 12 single crochets right now again into the first stitch Make one single crochet. Into the next one, make two. One and two. We are making a single crochet into the next one, and next one, make an increase. One, two. Make a single. Make an increase, a single increase, a single a single an increase. And I will have eighteen single crochets right now starting from here but I will put a stitch marker here and also put a different color yarn okay we will start the count from this row just make a single crochet into every stitch into your 18 stitches for uh, four rows with this 
I will make my rows then turn. I complete the uh, leg and I made one more here. Chain three and join from here. I made a slip stitch here. Insert here, make it single crochet. And just keep making single crochet. Make 18 single crochets around the leg. Complete 18 single crochets and into these chains. Insert into the first one and make two single crochets. Into the next, make two. And into the next, make two. And starting from here, do not uh, go like that, okay? Or it will be wrong. Insert into the first stitch and make 18 single crochets again. Seventeen and eighteen, and into these chains make the same thing. Put two single crochets in a chain, into a chain stitch. Insert here, that's my first stitch. Put a stitch marker. And turn around, put one single crochet every stitch you have. Okay, just go like that, I'll see you here. I turn around and I will start again. I will make three more rows like that. If you count uh, from here, I will put a stitch marker here. And make three rows without increasing or decreasing. And with this row, it will be four. Okay? And uh, I will complete them, then turn. I complete three rows. One, two, three. And now uh, we will um, make some decreases. I will start with decrease. That's my first stitch. Make six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make a decrease. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Make a decrease again. Just go ahead and finish this row like that. For the next row, I will start with a decrease again. 
then make five single crochets. One, two, sorry, three, four, and five. Make a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. Just keep going, finish this row. I complete this row. I have 36 uh, single crochets right now. And for this row, I had 42. Okay. And now I will start with a decrease again. Make four single crochets. And a decrease. Complete the row with four single crochet and a decrease. Now I have 30 uh, single crochets. I will make a decrease. And make one, two, three single crochets and a decrease. One, two, three single crochets and a decrease. Keep going like that. See you at the end. At the end of the row, I have 24 uh, stitches. And starting from here, I will make single crochets for three rows. Just make these 24 single crochets. Turn around three times and I'll see you. I complete three rows. Now I will uh, put some polyfill in it. I think I can put a little now. It will be easy. This one is so soft. That's a little hard, um, tough, but we will see at the end. I will just fill it as I can. Feel the empty place. Okay. I think that's enough for now.
and we will join the arms make a single and I will make one two more let me see I can make one more I made totally four single crochets and I will join this one here insert from here take both loops and this loop to make a single crochet insert into the next one okay we are taking three stitches together that's one two three One, two, three. Okay, I will look at um, that's good, I think. I will keep making single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can join the next one right now. Insert both loops and here make a single. Sorry, if you, I don't know, you could see it or not, or uh, so I will make it again. I can zoom out a little. one two three Four. Okay, and keep joining. One, two, three, four, five single crochets. I will look again. I think it looks good. I could start it from the sixth stitch, but it um, doesn't look bad, so I will not change it. Okay, and now I will make one more row with decreases. Take both front loops. 
make a decrease. One, two. Make a decrease. One, two single. Make a decrease. One, two single. A decrease. Two single. I will complete the row like that. I finished the row again and for this last row I will make single crochets. Totally 18 single crochets. Then we will make the body. I complete 18. I will make a slip stitch, chain one, cut the yarn, and fill it again. Now we can make the head. For the head, start with the magic ring again. Make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close here. Make a single crochet into the first stitch. Put two single crochets for all the stitches. They are always starting with the same way. So it's easy. That makes the amigurumis easy. Not all of them, of course. That's the last two. And for the next row, we will put one single crochet into the next stitch, put two. One single, two singles. One single, two. One single crochet, two single crochets. I'm sorry. One, two, one, and two. For the row one, two, three, four, make one single crochet and make one more for this row we will make two single crochets and an increase 
make two single crochets in a row and increase two single crochets and increase put two one two two singles in a row one two for the last time two singles and two singles into the same stitch for the row five we will make three single crochets in a row then make an increase one two three and increase so just keep making the same thing as you at the end of the row for the row six I will make four single crochets in a row sorry and make an incre increase four single crochets two single into the same stitch and complete this row with this way for the row seven I will make five double crochets uh, single crochets and uh, an increase five single increase that's our last row with increase complete this row then see you that's the last increase is then I will make um, single crochets for four rows I have 42 uh, single crochets right now and I will turn around without increasing and decreasing uh, turn around four rows then we will make decrease I complete uh, my rows and starting from here we will make decreases I will make a decrease then make five double crochets one two three four five one more decrease and I will keep making like like that for the next row I will make a uh, four double crochets in a row then a decrease for the next row I will make three double crochets in a row then make a decrease and for the last row I will make two double crochets in a row then make a decrease and I will have totally 18 uh, single crochet with this way we made it before so I will not show you again just make your decreases then I'll see you I complete the head uh, and as you can see I changed the uh, yarn cause that one was so thick and it didn't look so good and I made all the things same uh, with this yarn and I recommend you to use a soft yarn and uh, you can use velvet yarns or uh, this um, 
fluffy yarns. How could I tell? I can show you. Just wait a second. You can use this kind of yarns. I think you all could find uh, something like that. And it's a little hard to work with this yarn too, but you can see there is some chains here. Here, there is a yarn with chains. And it makes a little easy to work with it. And uh, if you want, you can use same color yarn with this yarn. Uh, use them together uh, like two strands of yarn. And it will be easy uh, to work like that. And that fits um, uh, bears or dogs or cats uh, or rabbits. It's all uh, looks really good a yarn like that or you can use a cutting yarn a softer cutting yarn it's up to you okay i feel uh, polyfill here and i made one of the ears and we will make the other one now i will start as i show you before Make a slip knot, make two or three chains, one, two, insert into the first chain and make six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, Six. I need a stitch marker. Yeah. Insert into the first stitch. Make a single crochet and put a stitch marker. And into the same stitch, make one more. And we will put two single crochets into every stitch i know it's a little hard to see right now but i show you with the other yarn uh, that's the main reason um, that i choose to use this yarn because it's so hard to see with this yarn But you know this, we made it a lot of time. Okay, I have totally 12 single crochets right now. Insert into the first stitch, make a single crochet. And turn around, make 12 single crochets for two rows. That's my first row. Four, five, I'm sorry. I made a mistake somewhere. I will make it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. 
and make it one more row. Then uh, make a slip stitch, cut the yarn. Then make one more ear. Okay, now uh, we will make the nose. And I will use a smaller hook, 3 millimeter hook for this. You can use 3, 2.5 or you can uh, even use uh, 4 millimeter too, but try to make it a little tight. Start with a magic ring. I will make six single crochets. Close the ring. Insert into the first stitch. Make a single crochet and put two single crochets into every stitch then for the next row make one single crochet uh, two single crochets into the same stitch for the next row make two single crochets in a row and uh, one increase for the next row make three single crochets in a row then one increase. You know this, we made it a lot of time. Uh, so make them, I'll see you at the end of the row five. I complete five rows and I have 30 stitches right now. And starting from here, I will make a single crochets for two rows. Actually, for this one, I made three rows, but I think uh, this brown beer, bigger than the red one, so I will make the nose a little smaller. If you want, you can make three rows too. It will look like that. Okay, I will make two more rows, no increases or decreases, uh, then see you. I finished this one with a slip stitch, chain one and leave a long tail. We will use it for sewing like this. And uh, for this, at first I made this black part, then sew it uh, here, but uh, you can see it's not so <laughs> good actually, it's a little uh, too much left, <laughs> how could I say it, it's not in the middle of the um, face. So uh, I plan to sew this one first, then uh, make the this emb embroidery. Okay. I will start from here. We will um, attach this a little, then fill it. Do not fill it right now or else it will be a little hard to work with it. Leave two rows here and I will insert here and insert into the stitch from inside to outside. 
Okay. If you want, you can use some pins here. It will be good actually. Look here, I will go like that. No. And I like to make it like that. I will not go uh, directly around the nose. I will insert my needle from here and attach this one this side so uh, with this way I don't have to use a pin but it's not so good I will fix it now look okay I will go here again keep sewing I made this side and I'm turning around again. I can feel here right now. And that's enough. It looks good. I will keep sorry. If you don't like to look, you can fix it. Just take your time. Don't be, um, don't hurry.
I'm making last touches. That's okay. I can tie it here. And we will attach these ears, but first we can make the moss right now. And so we need pins. We will put the, mm, this one here in the middle okay let me count one two three one two three insert here try to make it Right and nice, and here one, two. Let me count. Okay, it's not good. I think there's so much for uh, this nose because this nose is a, li a little um, smaller than this one as i said before i made this with a bigger hook and made one more row so i can just skip two here and then skip two more if you look like that that's between two stitches okay and i'll count from here i'll skip one two stitches put here and one two stitches put here i can make it like that if you make this a little bigger you can put it here too you can just skip one more row I think that's good right now. I will make my sewing part. Take a long tail. I will use a big needle. And use two strands together. But don't make a tie here. Actually, this yarn even short, I think. We will see. I will insert from the back side. No, I can. I, I couldn't reach here. Uh, if I start from here, I couldn't reach here. So I will start from here, insert here. Leave this tail like that, okay? Insert here. Mm. 
Now we know our where, where we put our nose. We will make it. I can make here right now. No, let me make it like that. Fix your yarn if you didn't like it. As I said before, don't rush. Make it slowly. That's the last one and I will insert from here Fix them if you want, or else you will not uh, change it later. I think that looks good. Okay. Now I will make a mat here. I will hide this tail. Insert into the same place. Okay. There is a problem. We can just take this yarn inside and hide it here. We made uh, knots here so it will not open and I will 
sew this right now. You can pin them again. Look, that's the first uh, circle and second circle. I will put it here from the second circle. And I will put this one on the second circle again. I try to make them equal. I think that's good. Just take a look. If you don't like it, you can always change it. Of course, if you haven't uh, saw it. It will be a little hard to um, fix it if you saw it. So fix it now. And while you are making the sew sewing part, just be careful. Okay? Be more careful. I think I can take this a little, only a um, millimeter back. Yeah, I can sew this ones right now. That's the same yarn, so it will not uh, look bad. So I just sew it, okay? First one is finished. I will fix it again. And I will sew this part right now. I complete joining here. I will just sorry. You see this yarns make some knots here okay and i will put the eyes 
I found these eyes. Uh, I don't know the sizes cause the woman who uh, sells them don't know also. <laughs> but I can make it like that. It's bigger than one centimeter. You can see it. Let me look. It's almost half inch. And now I will put them. Look closely. If it's not good, fix, fix it again. You see, I put them as I like. I will find a better place. Okay, I think that's better. Now I will close them. How to close it, I can show you with these ones. You will put these clips like that. Okay, that's big for this one, of course, but put it and just squeeze, squeeze it, but when you put this one here it will locked and uh, you cannot uh, take this out so find the right way uh, find the right position you will not change it when you close it i think that's good for me and i will close them I put the first one. No, it's a little hard because there is fibers. And let's put the other one. You can see it here. close here nicely now okay and um, a little more uh, fiber just fix it give the last shape because that's the last time you can make it and now we will join two part together but before this uh, I made a scarf for this but now I want to make an infinity scarf now I will show you how to make it for the infinity scarf I will use same yarn and nine millimeter hook you can use any bigger size hook chain 40 of course this uh, this will change to your um, sizes 
chain uh, and wrap it around your uh, beer snake twice if it fits then it's okay let me count it's 40 just try not to twist your chains and insert into the first chain sorry yarn over first and insert into the first chain grab the yarn and pull through this loop from these two loops okay let's say half double slip stitch yarn over insert into the next stitch Grab the yarn, pull through, and pull through from these two loops. I will just make half double slip stitch and turn like that when I reach here I'll seal I complete the row I'm here that's my starting point if you want you can use a stitch marker here but I think you can understand there is a little um, bump here and uh, now you see that's our stitch front loop back loop and there is one more back loop here just turn your stitch like that and insert into this back loop grab the yarn make a half double slip stitch that's our loop and use this back loop and keep going like that and it will look like this now I will turn around uh, for four rows I think it will look good with four rows. Just make the same thing, turn again and again. And when you complete the four rows, wait for me. I complete four rows. That's my starting point, as you can see. And starting from here, I will insert into the back loop again, grab the yarn and make a slip stitch okay you see that's my stitch two loops that's the back loop insert here make a slip stitch make a slip stitch and turn around the infinity scarf with slip stitch don't make them tight I will complete this row too and turn back to you. I made the last one and here I start my first slip stitch. Uh, I can make one more slip stitch here and chain one, cut the yarn. And hide this tail
it could be easy to start to join from here because there is no bad uh, looking uh, so sewing kind of things so I can start to join from this side okay that's good I made an amateur <laughs> joining here and now I will sew here. Take the front loop and front loop join. We have 18 loops here and 18 loops there. So just join these loops, but be careful. Try not to turn uh, this or join this wrong. This will not work, so I take it off. I'm almost closing here. I can put a little more for the neck. Neck must be uh, fully filled or else it um, could look bad easily. Okay, it looks good. There is a little <laughs> yarn pieces. Fix it a little more. So that's nice. You can turn around one more time and make the sewing part um better oh, I will show you how to I hide this yarn if I could make it because It's a little hard to work with this yarn. Give it to one side and the other side and keep making like that. I will try to work with a hook because it's hard to work with the needle. I think that's enough. I can cut this now and I will uh, just take them off. And 
And that's it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sirin's Crochet is my Instagram, Pinterest and website address. You can reach me there. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.